It is my great pleasure to be here to join you to talk about the, uh, my understanding about the climate change and also related with the Belt and Road initiatives. This is my first time to be here to, uh, to attend the Arctic Circle Assembly. And I'm very excited about this, not because the first time I'm attending this, but because as a business guy, we are not just talking about environmental issues, echoes, uh, system, and climate change. But we need to, to talk about what actions we are taking and to be taken. And I just want to report to you that I have a great partner here in Iceland, the company called Arctic Green Energy. And with this partnership, that we are working together to acting on transforming the energy with dealing with the climate change. Climate change is, is a global issue. It's everybody's business, especially to the business. Business is a real entity that will take actions to change our world. The climate change requires that energy transformation. Everybody knows that energy transformation taking place around the world, especially in China for years, which we have seen great progress has been made. We are very uh, happy about this, especially about the CO2 carbon printing, CO2 collecting and, uh, and reutilization. Uh, re Arctic Green Energy, the company that in this Iceland has been helped us in China, transforming our energy through del delivering technologies of thermal. And this has been making our company at number one in the country to provide the thermal energy, to provide the thermal energy for our people, for their livelihood, and also for the industries. And this is the, the one of the efforts that made by the business through collaboration around the globe. So in this area, area where I'm not going to talk about the details about what's happened in China in terms of energy transformation. is from the wind power, solar power, renewables, and including thermal. Most important part is that from the politicians to the researchers to the business and to everybody uh, of our population, they all realize that they the environmental issues, climate issues, are our own issues. And you, you know in the past years, climate change, not climate, the environmental issues really harming every of our Chinese in China. And you see also in the past years, the, the very restricted and the private, very spread efforts by business and all the people involved, the, taking this restrict efforts and making the progress for our own people and for the human beings. One of the areas I want to mention here in the rest of a few minutes, talking about the Belt and Road and the energy transformation. As you all know, Belt and Road being an uh, initiative being promoted by China in 2013. And majority of the people are not fully understand about the, this. Only five years after this uh, initial uh, initiative proposed. And this currently there's 20, 72 countries being involved with uh, a total population of uh, 4.8 uh, billion population. And this is taking about 34% uh, 
no, 67% of the total uh, population. And there were also involved 26.7 trillion dollars of a GDP, which take a total GDP of the world above 34%. So which means there's a great opportunity to make those countries are growing because most of the countries involved with the Bend Road are development countries. Developing means the tremendous market potential, <laughs> means this is the area that can drive global economic growth. And how to make the Belt and Road sustainable, transparent, and green and low carbon. And in, uh, this including coal inclusive. This is the efforts of all the countries involved, all the business involved, and all the world uh, governments. So this is the something, this is not just an economic uh, growth story, but this is a, a sustainable and inclusive growth story. The green and low carbon is one of the ways for those countries involved in their future development. How the business can make this happen, can help the local government to adopt sustainable de development program to using trans transformable energy, especially renewables and clean energy in those countries. And a lot of those countries are rich in oil and gas, and also coal. However, in today's situation, we need to make sure to, re to discharge less CO2 as less as possible. So this is the technology required. This is the efforts and investment required. This is the business commitment required. So this is a work together collaboration efforts. As none of the countries, none of the, uh, the uh, business can make this happen. And as President Xi Jinping mentioned, that the basic principle of the Belt and Road Initiative is discussions through consultation, built together and sharing. This is also the basic principle for the, uh, the building community of the shared future for mankind. And so how to make business involved with this? Because a lot of business in European, in US, in other parts of the world do not fully understand how to participate, how to be involved. They know there's a great, great deal of a potential opportunities for the business to grow. But this is the way that the business need to have a, a, a platform like this to share the information, to work with the host government. It's not with Chinese government because all those uh, projects and infrastructures, all those activities proposed by the host government. So if those government working with the business and to making this more transparent, this more inclusive, and I think this Belt and Road can really drag the economic growth of the whole world. It's not just an uh, uh, area of those uh, 72 countries. And as to the energy sector, there's a tremendous use of a coal, like in China, in other countries involved with the Belt and Road. And how to make the coal more clean? This is that the business, attack, business need to put a lot of money on the clean coal efforts. I just report that our company is not a coal company. However, we in, involved a lot of research to make it coal clean. In today's integrate results, we are very optimistic and encouraged that this will happen. We will using less coal to generate more energy and the economic value. 
Well, thank you very much. I see the, the red flags. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay.